there we go, right there. What is going on guys? We are back with another video this morning. At least hopefully we're back with another video. There's always that little bit of unknown when you're shooting an intro, if it's all for nothing and you look like an idiot out here, or if you're actually gonna catch some fish. But back in Wisconsin today and uh, did not really fish yesterday. Wisconsin has significantly less ice than other places in which I've traveled to. So unfortunately we are without the snowmobiles today. Um, but we did a little walk out in the dark and we're mixing it up. Caught a pile of walleye so far this ice season. Hopefully gonna do some big panfish today. Crappies, bluegills hopefully. And maybe some other miscellaneous in the mix. But hopefully we're gonna go into kind of a cool little first ice crappie bite, panfish bite that happens a lot of different places. Catch a bunch of fish. We're out here in the dark obviously. It's early in the morning right now. And I'm actually with my buddy Hayes today. Hayes the panfish legend? The largemouth legend? What do you want to be called? Any title works, he says, so he'll respond to anything. But um, me, he's out here on some early ice, chasing some panfish. We got a really warm day, big snowstorm coming, and uh, let's get it going on. First, we gotta punch some holes with the Strike Master and uh, start hunting around, and find some fish. Here we go. Got him right there. Fish number one on little tiny crappie. I've actually caught several fish now, but of course the camera just totally just quit working randomly. This is actually the smallest one which I've caught so far. A little crappie right there, which is a good sign. You know, filming outside in the cold with the camera, it's just, it's just an uphill battle. Sometimes it's like if catching the fish alone isn't hard enough, you got to fight the cameras all the time, but. It appears that we're on some crappies, so we kind of hope the remainder of our time here goes well, and it's not just like a first light bite. We will see, but that is the first one on a brand new jig, which hopefully we'll crack a bunch more on here in a second. Here we go. Got him right there. Crappie. Here we go. Number two. Fishing with a brand new jig today, like I said. Interesting little jig. Here we go. Fishing real shallow up in the weeds right now, but we're fishing with a brand new jig today. The Mickey jig that Acme came out with. And it's kind of an interesting jig because it's got these two little bills or fins. This kind of bill on the front. And you guys could probably see that a little bit. And it kind of gives it like a little forward hop as you just kind of pound it in place. So it's kind of got a little bit of horizontal movement. I only looked at it basically in a tub of water so far. I've never actually used it on the ice till now. So we will, we will do some trial testing today, but so far catching a few and have not been fishing for very long. Right there, fish on. Oh, gotta be a nice crappie, I would say. Just going crazy, oh yeah, real nice crappie. That's what we're after right there. Oh yeah, look at that one hazy. We got a good one. Probably 12 and a half, even a little bigger. You can see how suicidal that one came in. And dude, that is what we're after right there. Big old first ice crappies. I'll take them like that. He just was suicidal on that little Mickey jig. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'll take them like that. Yeah, I don't know how many of these made the video, but I've caught a bunch that were much smaller. And look at that guy in an eight inch hole. He's all the way across it. Width-wise, that's how we like them right there. Let's find more like that. And uh, I'm just fishing this little fire tiger color with just a plastic on the end of it. Yeah, probably close to 13. And just threading this little plastic on the end of this little Mickey jig here. 
And there it is. Simple as can be right there. Here we go. Got him right there. Another nice crappie. Not as big. More like the eater size. And you guys can see how you know shallower fish and cash do. Look how they're eating that jig. That is what I like to see right there. Plowing that thing. Look at that. Another nice fish if you're gonna keep one. Not quite the monstrous size of the last one. And you know, one of the kind of the tricks a lot of times to catching fish on plastics is to never stop moving the rod and it's kind of just like a very small pounding action. If I were to correlate it to walleye fishing, I would say it's very much like the what you do when you're about to get a bite, like on a spoon where you're just taking the rod and kind of hammering it in place like this. You can see how like little my rod and my hand are actually moving. But basically what that Mickey jig does is it just uses those front little wings and it just kind of keeps it like scooting forward a little bit in a kind of a darty fashion. And so far they're liking it. It's not like basin crappie fish where you just have that big stack under you. This is much more like, here we go. Oh my gosh, how did I miss that fish? How did I miss that fish right there? but they're coming in out of the weeds from the side. So you wanna keep that bait kinda of up high so fish can kinda, of, especially the crappies, a lot of times you get down like in the weeds and it's more so the bluegill stuff, but if you keep it up high, above high the weeds here, here we go. Got them right there. It's gonna be another nice one, I think. Oh, not quite as big, nice fish though. Nice fish, man, nothing wrong with those. Look how they're eating that thing. I'll go ahead and link this jig down below if you guys wanna check any of them out because they are absolutely all over it. And it's brand new. I don't think, to my knowledge, there's anything like it out there. And the fish are obviously chowing it. And uh, we're definitely on some of them now, but it's just that little rock. Just keep the jig constantly rocking. If you're used to just fishing live bait and you're used to doing that classic thing where the fish comes up and you kind of stop moving the rod, it doesn't work with plastics. With plastics, it's the continuous movement of the rod. I always say jig through the bite is a big key to getting bit on plastics a lot of times when you're fishing panfish. So there's generally two kind of primary crappie bites or I'd say most of your winter crappie fishing takes place. One of those, this might be a gill, a little gill here, but uh, one of those generally gonna be out over a basin where you might have you know, a lot of the lake that's 15, 20 feet deep, and then you might have a deeper hole or some kind of pocket where it's like 30, 35 feet, and those fish will suspend out over that basin, out over some deep water, you know, 15 feet down over 30, 25 feet down over 40, something like that. The other kind of spot we seem to do a lot of crappie fishing throughout the course of winter is gonna be on a big shallow weed area. And that's what we're in today. A lot of times these really clear natural lakes, you'll see crappies and bluegills relating to weeds um, for a lot of the daytime hours. And a lot of times at night, those fish might either stay in the weeds or go out and suspend over basin. But a lot of times these day bites, these you know sun up to kind of sundown bites, a lot of times take place in some of these big weedy areas where you have a lot of five to maybe 10 feet of water with some kind of thick milfoil or cabbage around where these panfish, crappies and bluegills will kind of slide into during the daytime. And that's exactly what we're fishing now. The spot could be a really big bay. It could be a main lake, big weed flat like we're on right now. Uh, but that's kind of specifics of, you know, where you see a lot of the crappie action go down over the course of the winter. We're getting small bluegills right now. Might have to move holes, but that's kind of where we're fishing right now. And uh, the pattern generally when you're fishing these big weed flats, <clears throat> drill a lot of holes work through the holes relatively quick try to see kind of where those fish are it's not like looking at the the hummingbird mega live over a basin of crappies where you just see like oh there's a hundred fish over there this is much more like three fish here two fish there five fish here and they just kind of roam around in these small pods through a lot of these big weed areas There we go, this one's moving quicker. Got him, right there. A little smaller crappie there. You can definitely tell when you got bluegills versus crappies down there. The bluegills typically moving a little bit slower. Gloves gonna blow away, it's so windy out. 
crappies generally coming up a little bit quicker to bite. And like I said earlier, if you kind of if you kind of hold that thing farther up off bottom, you're generally a little bit better off. So you guys can kind of see I'm in, you know, whatever, five feet right now. I'm only jigging like three down, or like two and a half down, somewhere right in there, keeping it way up high. Those bluegills will stay down farther down in here by the weeds. The crappies generally come through a little bit higher. There we go, right there. It's feeling decent. Oh yeah, nice crappie. <laughs> Nice crappie. Dude, they are so shallow, aren't they? I mean, they are coming in real close to the ice. Pick for a thumbnail? I mean, sure, we can do one, I guess. He's a nice fish, huh? So you guys probably haven't seen Hayes in the video too much yet because I don't have enough cameras right now. Oh, he's catching a bunch of fish too. We'll get that guy popped off here. He's nice, huh? He ain't too shabby. I'll see if I can do a professional grade panfish hold on. Does that look terrible? Just in fisherman like. Take a <laughs> in fisherman esque. Take a uh, horizontal one for the thumbnail. He's a nice one. 11 ish. Right in there. We'll let him go. Classic. Super shallow water. First ice bite. And uh, getting it done. He's catching a bunch. I wish I had more cameras to put on him. But we're just camp. <laughs> we got to retie. But uh, we're getting it done. I didn't have audio on. No. Look at that, guys. I just caught this big crappie. As you guys saw, I had all the other cameras rolling, but the good audio one. And man, dude, that is the coolest part about catching these things super shallow, is that they just run around all crazy like that. I mean, he was pulling drag, but absolutely choked that Mickey jig. And look how big those fins are. I mean, that's, that's my hand going the wide way right there. You can't even see it. Look at that. What a nice fish, dude. Let's let that guy go. Oh yes, when you're fishing this shallow water, it's always drilling a lot of holes because the fish can't vertically stack like they do in deeper water. So you're essentially needing to drill a lot of holes to kind of cover the area in which they roam. But uh, when you're on them, it's fun. You're never really looking at a graph of, you know, 10, 12 fish on it at a time. But when they come in, a lot of times they are super charged up, especially in clear water like we're fishing today morning and evening a lot of times they'll come in real hot and heavy like this and Hayes is catching some nice ones I'm catching some nice ones and we're doing it this is actually believe it or not this is the first time I've fished for anything other than a walleye since March <laughs> isn't that insane fish on boys right there Decent little crappie up in some shallow water. Definitely a super fun way to fish. If you're not familiar with fishing them, it's super shallow water. A lot of crappie bites are just kind of basin bites, but if you can catch these things in four or five, look how much slush I got in my hole, four or five, six feet of water. It is fun because they pull hard when you're fishing the skinny water because they got nowhere to go but to fight. Got him right there. Fish on. Little crappie. By little, I mean about nine and a half. And they're all day long so far. Look how they're eating that thing. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Not big one, but I mean, if you're gonna keep a bunch of crappies, it's kind of what you're after right there. Obviously, we got some some real stud daddies in the mix, which we hope to. Wouldn't mind catching a few more of those real big ones. There we go, there we go. Answer the call. Oh, oh 
How's that light for you? Hey, that's a little bit better, buddy. Thank you. Just came up and smoked that jig. I haven't put a camera on Hayes all day, but he's been catching a pile of them too. Low light crappies, beautiful fish, great table fare. That'd be about the perfect eater if you're gonna bring one home. We're gonna get them back because it's cold and windy. Super. Windy. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how it's done, baby. <laughs> I feel like we're doing the classic TV show thing right now. Welcome. I am your host, Tom Bully, with my co-host, Hayes. And we're signing off from another great episode out here in the outdoors. <laughs> no, that's how I'm going to tee up the actual intro. Okay. Wasn't that the most TV show thing you ever heard, though? That was, I mean, Ridiculous. I've heard worse. What is going on, guys? We are back with the outro to this video now. And uh, it is obviously dark out now. Fished a little bit this morning, fished a little bit this evening. Caught a bunch of crappies. First day in the ice chasing anything other than walleyes for me. What well, you guys probably didn't see is Hayes catching a bunch of fish today. Because honestly... I had three cameras, one here, one there, one there, and um, the audio is just going to be terrible on anything else because it's super windy out today, but fun day on the ice. It was a good day. It was better than... Uh, sitting on the couch? Going to work. I was going to say that. <laughs> sitting um, on the couch or going to work? Sitting on the couch or going to work, yep. First day on the ice in Wisconsin chasing anything other than walleye. So caught a bunch of crappies today. Definitely in the shallow water crappie bite. Always a good option in these big weedy clear lake areas um, in this early ice time frame. And uh, caught a bunch of fish on a new jig today. Have a new confidence jig, the Mickey jig. So if, like I said, when I was talking about it earlier, I'll link it down below because I know you guys always ask a pile of questions on that kind of stuff. But um, we're signing off. We're getting out of here. We're going back to the truck, going home and editing. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Any last words, guys? I said them all. Stolen from you. I'm speechless. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.